Hello guys, here's the next Godot tutorial, finally, and in this one I want to show you how to export your game to Android. We have this scene here with the low poly world, and I want to export it to my Android device. So what we have to start with is to visit some web pages. The first one is Android Studio. Just download it and you get the Android Studio and the SDK. After downloading and installing this, we have to install the JDK in version 1.8, the Java Development Kit, and you can get it from Oracle from this webpage here. All the links I added to the description of this video. I installed it for Windows 64-bit, that's my OS. You can also get it for Linux or Mac. Ok, after running the setup, I go back to Godot and open the Editor Settings. Here I scroll down to Export and select Android. What you have to insert now is a path to the ADB, the JAR signer and the debug key store. You will need these tools to sign and export your Android package. Ok, so let's see where these files could be. The first one, the ADB, the Android debugging bridge, can be found here in the home path, app data, local, android, SDK, platform tools. You don't have to memorize this or to note it down, I will copy these strings to the description below. Ok, the next one is the jar signer. It can be found in your JDK directory in the bin folder, bin for binary. Alright, the next path is the debug keystore. This file can be found in your home directory .android. You need this to sign an Android application during development. If this file isn't there, if it isn't generated by Android Studio or the SDK, you can use the key tool of the JDK to generate it. So let me show you how to do this. I open a command prompt and go to the directory of my JDK. Then I insert this long line here. Don't be afraid, I also copied this to the description. And then the debug keystore is generated at the location homepath.android. Here you can see what happens when this file already exists. I get an error, but if it isn't there, it's just created. Okay, now we have everything in place to export the APK, the Android package, which is our game. So open the project settings and select export. If you haven't already, add Android to your export presets. Now there are quite a few settings here, but we won't go through them in this tutorial. Just be sure that runnable is enabled and then you can press export project. I export this as nature apk. I did this before, so I will override it. After exporting, I have to bring this apk to my device. First I will show you how to do this manually. I connected my device with a USB cable to my PC, be sure that USB debugging is enabled. Then I copy the exported APK file to the download directory of my device. And now let's see how to install and open this. Here is my device, the screen. I go to my files, then to APK installation files, and here you can see my Godot Nature APK. Then I select it and choose install. And after installing, I can open it. And here we go. Let's turn the screen to landscape. Nice. Ok, this was the manual way. But as you can see here in the export settings, there's also a one-click deploy. This is represented by this little Android icon here. Usually I get a list with all the connected devices, but I have only one device connected, so I can press this start button here and my APK will be signed, exported, installed and opened on my device. Ok guys, that's it. I really hope you find this useful and interesting, and all the information you need can be found in the description below. Thank you guys for watching this, thanks for your support if you consider supporting me on my Patreon, and I really hope you come back soon to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I see you guys on JNM.